But we cannot allow the righteous cries and peaceful protesters to be drowned out by an angry mob. I am your president of law and order and an ally of all peaceful protesters. We've been uh, fired at with rubber bullets. My cameraman has been hit. Uh, we've also seen tear gas being used. Here we go, they're moving through again. This is exactly what it looks like. Exactly what it looks like. We're the state. Safely. Stay fired. If a city or state refuses to take the actions that are necessary to defend the life and property of their residents, then I will deploy the United States military and quickly solve the problem for them. Claims, but the fear that of what happened to George Floyd could happen to you or to your son or daughter is woven deeply into the fabric of what it means to be black in America. This anger doesn't come out of nowhere. It's born of decades and centuries of systemic racism and injustice. Necessary to defend the life and property of their residents, then I will deploy the United States military and quickly solve the problem for them. I said, uh, no one's laughing here, we're in pain. We saw a man lose his life in front of them. And our challenge is, is that this is about social trust, social compacts, and reestablishing faith in the people who are there to serve them. The White House might fan the flames, but the fear that of what happened to George Floyd could happen to you or to your son.